I uh, also a video about the color match paint um, and after I painted all these patches, I painted this whole door. Uh, the light spots is probably from a previous color. Uh, it's a little shiny like there, that patch is a little shiny and down there. I probably need to go over it with like a scotch brake pad. It just depends on how the light's hitting it though, but... After a few months, it'll probably dull up from like dirt and stuff. Uh, these patches, uh, it's like a, and around these cabinets, I totally did the gap along the whole cabinets here with drywall mud since the caulking was just shrinking and cracking they put on and that I put on, I think. And some cracks and painted all, and then all this I painted. And same within here, there's some gaps along the cabinets I filled with drywall mud and painted. And I redid these cabinet knobs with lacquer and painted some of these cabinets. Uh, I think these lower cabinets I'm going to have to do. And I uh, painted some of these. And then here's all the patches on the door. I patched and sanded and painted and uh, on the drywall texturing. Uh, I mean, I might have missed a little bit of spot like that. Looks more like texturing than gouge, but that's like a if it looks kind of like the uh, texturing instead of a gouge. I've been leaving it, and this texturing just Santa Fe Mediterranean style. It's a bit awkward because there's like highs and lows everywhere. Uh, I've done this whole doorway. Like uh, gouges and paint, or I mean texturing the one right and things in the corners. And I did this door. Oh, you could see where I painted it over that nail hole. The only way to tell is the paint. Most of them is the paint shinier where I painted over the spot. Yeah, you can't tell now, but at an angle you could tell because it's shiny. I might go over it with like a green Scotch Sprite pad. Uh, there's some patches around this window and uh, and that thing over there. I might go over it all with the scotch brake pad to uh, take the sheen off a little. On this air handler door, I patched like several spots and painted it. Then you know, look like it's been worked on. Uh, just looks good. This door I patched some spots and painted. Uh, this one I don't think it patched. I just Painted over, I guess I should have sanded it. It's like someone else tried patching it and did a lousy job. I did patch the inside and I missed a crack here. I need to go back and uh, sand that. I tried painting it, it didn't work. I tried putting it on thick, it didn't work. There's a big hole here that was sinking. I made a put it on the video before I filled that wood filler and sanded it. and. Paint this door, uh, paint by the light uh, texture a little and painted by there and on this wall somewhat. Uh, I think if I go over with Scotch Bright, if I want to take the shine down to like this original shine, like that's not as shiny, it's a little flatter. This uh, new paint, it's like a that's a little shiny. It's got a little more uh, uh, semi gloss to it. And this room, I've textured and patched a few spots around this light uh, on the roof here a little bit. It's really hard to tell where I patched and painted. The stuff blends in good. The only way I'm able to tell is the new paint is slightly more semi gloss. Like looking at an angle, I could see where I painted. I tried to like paint out around it so it's like blends in more, but I, I could go over with a green scotch brake pad and it'll look good. I'll look uh, less less shiny. I passed a few dings on these doors and then this inside ding on this one was another bad one. I patched and painted. Uh, it was right here. I guess I could have sanded a little more. I sanded a lot. It got pretty smooth. 
Uh, that was way worse before, and uh, so uh, that's about it. And then I, on this here, I did the ha bottom half of this because it was too much texturing. I wanted something smoother so I could wash it like that. The coffee grounds on there, so it's like I need to. Needed it smoother, so I texture it over and paint it. And then this water heater room, I've to this door, there's like three dings I can't even see except for that one, maybe a little because uh, I should have sanded it a little more, I guess. But uh, this whole corner, I patched, I did the sheetrock around that and drywall mud it. It wasn't even drywall mud in, I could see right into the attic before, it was just a big piece missing. and gaps on this side and a big piece and back missing and then I pet a drywall mud in and pet painted around these pipes and uh, painted over it looks pretty good if anything I could go back over this paint with the uh, scotch bright like a green scotch bright pad and it'll look better and that light I paint around and um, Retexture, or I mean the outlet, and retexture and painted it a little there around this doorway, uh, corners. That's like uh, the only way I could tell is if the texturing's a little high and it looks a little bit off, or the paint shiny is really how I could tell. Like here, it's like I probably need a Paint here more. It's probably like the other color the guy made for me. That was the younger guy. It just was lighter. But I think I could get away with going with Scotch bright over it, so it's not as shiny. So that's what's giving away. It's, it's just way shinier than the paint that was on there. And if anything, if I have to retexture a little more, I will. Like that whole corner. I did that whole corner over again. It's hard to tell. Um, some of this other up and up and down that wall I did some texturing and painting uh, they had the nails going up popping out they're supposed to use screws they're all popping through the plaster read it around that light switch and paint it uh, especially in that corner like from a distance I can't tell I might have to go over it with like a scotch bright pad to and just scuff it up so it's duller like the rest of the paint I did a long hair too and uh, uh, some of these walls I've painted and textured some spots. It looks better than when I moved in. It's harder for the bugs to get in now. And I did under the cabinets around the piping and some of these outlets. I took the trim off and textured a little so it's flatter so the trim sits against the wall so the bugs can't get through. Uh, that's looking a lot better now.